Okay. Um, there's other types of malware, of course. Um, now, I have, I have mentioned the worm. Uh, and again, you know, it's using network uh, transmission. It's using uh, uh, standing uh, functions in the system, uh, sometimes referred to as demons, um, to try and uh, uh, spread itself, and therefore it spreads faster than a virus, which relies on uh, user activity, even though the user activity may be a fairly common activity. Uh, computers are faster than people are, so worms are faster than viruses. Um, and then we get Trojan horses, which come in a variety of flavors. Uh, logic bombs, back doors, and uh, we've mentioned uh, back doors. Um, uh, now, I mean, there's, there's social engineering, and we're going to mention social engineering in many, many ways. Um, it, uh, it works in a lot of ways, and, uh, you know, starting with uh, a Trojan horse, you know, basically they're lying to you. That's social engineering, fancy term for lying. Uh, they're uh, indicating somehow that there is some positive utility. It may be that they use the same name as an existing popular utility. Um, it may be that they advertise it. it. It may be, you know, there's all kinds of ways that they can uh, say, you know, this will do something good for you, and then instead it does something bad. Um, a, a logic bomb. Now, this is, this is more technical. Uh, again, it's uh, possibly uh, a payload that is... Uh, carried or spread by a virus or um, implanted by a uh, Trojan horse, but it can be something that somebody just programs into a system uh, and all kinds of legendary uh, and, and not so legendary, some uh, realistic, uh, real things that ended up in court cases. Um, Revlon, uh, one of the developers, uh, did something to a system that basically, you know, shut down their uh, computer accounting system that he was supposed to build for them because uh, he didn't think he'd been paid enough. Uh, they didn't think they'd, he'd done a good enough job. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it can be carried by something else, but it, it can also be uh, implemented. Um, uh, back doors and trap doors, we've we talked about that in the maintenance hook issue. Uh, phishing uh, email that, um, uh, again, you know, social engineering involved here. Uh, they are saying in one way or another that uh, there is something uh, that is going to affect your uh, credit card number or your bank account. Um, and so, you know, if, if this is supposedly a charge that somebody has made, you want to uh, uh, dispute the charge. So, of course, the first thing they ask you is, you know, what's your credit card number? What's your account number? Well, that's what they wanted in the first place. So, you know, phishing in, in a variety of ways, shapes, and forms. And uh, it's not just a credit card account these days. Sometimes it's your email account uh, that they have decided that they can use for a variety of purpose. Um, remote access Trojans, uh, getting somebody to install something on their system that, that permits access, gives them access to your computer, uh, which they can then use in a variety of different ways. They're, they're using your uh, computing resources, they're using your, uh, your computer, your network access, your storage, all kinds of things that they can use as long as they can get access. Um, a data diddler, this is, uh, oh, it, it used to be fairly uncommon. There were only a few examples. Um, there was a, uh, a virus that carried a data diddler and, and uh, it would get onto a system and then it would make incremental changes, minor changes to data, um, corrupting the data of a, a database, for example, over time, over long periods of time, so that 
the corruption um, was minor and may not be detectable until um, it has you know really get to be noticeable but by that time of course you've backed up an awful lot of the corrupted data and so you don't know what is trustworthy or what isn't um, and uh, recently that has um, been used in ransomware situations uh, again um, so uh, all kinds of uh, things there um, there's uh, yeah, our remote access Trojans, our oh root kits um, that are a, a specialized kind that that give you you know direct root access that um, people will install once they have gotten into the system, um, get access, um, and then uh, the root kit will provide them with ongoing access whenever they want. Uh, it's very interesting sometimes. Uh, the people who will do this and, and gain access to a system will actually fix um, problems with your system uh, so that other people can't break in and they're the only ones who can actually misuse your system. Interesting uh, way. Um, we've talked about ransomware in some detail. Um, and like I say, you know, this goes back to 1988. This is not a new thing. Uh, and extortion. Um... Yeah, and, and then, finally, uh, well, not necessarily finally, but social engineering, that um, the, uh, you know, this is, this is the way to, uh, uh, to get people. This is, this is the way to uh, get access uh, to the systems, and, and it's... Um, uh, Often the, the easiest way, you know, you don't have to be uh, technically proficient uh, to gain access to a system. You just, you know, lie to people, um, uh, browbeat people, bully them, whatever you need to do, any kind of social uh, thing. Now, mind you, um, I, I've said, you know, social engineering is just basically lying. Social engineering is, is can be used as a tool and, and, you know, use it yourself in terms of training. I mean, training is a form of social engineering. Um, uh, so, you know, be, be aware of the bad side, but also, you know, the possibilities here. Um, other, uh, well, just keeping on with the malware here, um, uh, bots, uh, you know, the, the remote access Trojans and, and similar things like that, that they, they set up uh, bots and botnets so that uh, people can use uh, computers and distributed computing and, and, you know, set themselves up basically supercomputers using a whole bunch of, of personal computers. Um, uh, spam botnets originally, um, uh, uh, denial of service uh, and, and distributed denial of service using uh, botnets to do that. So, um, Lots of, lots and lots and lots of, of malware out there and, and uh, nasty uh, things that can be done with software. Basically, you know, anything you can do with a computer, you can do with, with malware. So, um, you, as I say, you know, you need to know the, the possibilities. You need to know the, the breadth of this. It, it's not... Um, uh, because of the the different ways of attack, the way to protect against them, uh, the types of attacks that they can mount, it, it becomes more important to know the different types and not less.